right, well, I have to wear this because Craig said that the green will, like, mix in with my own green top. And also, man's not hot. Never hot! Welcome to CFC Fan TV. It's been another frustrating day in the transfer market. It's been confirmed, really. Sanchez is going to go to a Manchester club. We are not in the race. No, we're not, why are we, we not never in that were. conversation? It's so depressing, isn't it? It would be a fantastic... It might have been the answer to basically all of our problems. Not all of our problems, but the whole not being able to score a goal in the last three or four games. Uh, it would be really, really helpful, to be honest. It's ridiculous, though. So Sanchez is going to go to Manchester. You've got Aubameyang is now having talks with Arsenal. You've got Liverpool paying £75 million for a defender. And we're talking to Andy Carroll about a six-month loan deal. We're being left behind, aren't we? I did say, though, that, it, that Andy Carroll, if he was to come to Chelsea, would only be a good deal if it was, like, a till the end of the season thing. That's the, oh, I don't see it going any further than that because he's not, he's not a long-term solution. Yeah, but ultimately, Sophie, we're the champions of England. We're in the Champions League. We need to be aiming higher than Andy Carroll. Yeah, I can course, see that Andy Carroll has a purpose. I can see that he is a good option to have and I can see that he can do things that other players can't because of his physical prowess. But it's definitely going to it's definitely it's 100% I can tell you now. Antonio Conte is probably so frustrated beyond words and I think the board are being very stubborn at the moment in the fact that they've spent so much money on Morata. They're almost relying on him. They yeah, they're almost relying on him to at some point just pick up form, like, and some point very, very close in the near future. Is that going to happen? Do you know what? I honestly thought... I'm nearly a swear word there, I no. think. There nearly <laughs> no, a swear there, there definitely wasn't, no. <laughs> but I nearly thought that it was going to happen um, on Saturday. I thought, I thought this was the turning point. I thought, yep, 100%. And it got to the 80th minute, and I said, Dan, I said, Dan, are we going to score? He said, not a chance. And I said, right, OK. Well, also, I, mean, I think we have to be completely honest. If anybody was going to win that game... It was Leicester. Yeah, it was Leicester. A 10-man ten, a ten Leicester would be very disappointed that they didn't get anything more than yeah. they did. Yeah, and you know I do my vlogs and everything at the game, and sometimes I miss little bits and bobs, but this time I was really... I mean, there wasn't anything to vlog, there were no goals, but I was really trying to pay attention, right? Who, who's performing like who's not? Morata wasn't really getting himself into the right space. I can see he's sort of trying, but it's, it's a bit pointless because nobody's playing good football. Nobody's in the right space. Nobody's creating anything. We were very, we were very playing very dull football, I would say, mm. and it didn't look like we were going to score at all. If anyone was going to score... It Jamie was going to be, it was gonna be Leicester in one of the, one of the which. To be fair, Morris had that one chance where he went flying over, but if that was on target, that would have been probably know, the I game over. I thought he could have had a penalty. I thought Jamie Vardy should have scored. And I think either one of those two players would make a huge difference to our, our current starting 100%. Level. Jamie Vardy is a brilliant centre-forward. He would score bundles of goals in this Chelsea team. He's better than anything we currently have. Riyad Mahrez, how he's really still at Leicester, good. I yeah. don't know. He's so gifted. He's so direct. He's so cultured on the ball. He looks so dangerous. Why are we not talking to Leicester about Mahrez? Why are we not talking to Leicester about Vardy? Why are we not talking to Arsenal about Sanchez? That's the one that's really irked me. Sanchez is available. He is available for the right money. If, mm -hmm. you, if you make Arsenal the proper offer, they will accept. And if you offer him enough wages, he will accept. The issue is because players like Courtois, players like Hazard, they are our highest earners. Mm -hmm. So if you, bring ha if you bring Sanchez in, every, you know, it affects the wage structure. And I know that it's an issue, but... You can't worry about... The, do you know what it's equivalent to? I'm going to make a ridiculous comparison here. You know if you want to go out for a pint, you end up paying £5.50 for a pint of Guinness, yeah. I do. That's too expensive. I know that's too expensive. Yeah. But the choice is, pay it or don't have one. And, it, and who loses out? And the problem is, if we don't pay this money... We're not going to have a forward, and we're going to ultimately lose. Out. I mean, the, the the point. If we, if, to be fair, if we don't find form in this Norwich game, I'm going to be seriously, seriously worried for our Barcelona games because how we're playing now, collectively as a team, forget just Morata on his own, even that's a huge issue, is just nowhere near good enough. Unless they're going to somehow just create something out of nothing, which would frustrate me anyway. Because how on earth can you can you can you play like that against no, a top team like Barcelona? I know, I know, it's a complete and utter disaster. And then. It's all about Andy Carroll. You know, our, our club seems to be focused on trying to get hold of Andy Carroll. I've mentioned that I can see that he does offer something that we don't have. But this isn't the dream, is it? Do you think this one's going to happen? It's not the dream. I'm actually not as opposed to it as everybody else is because our board are clearly thinking more along the panic line. Um, but if, if this is all we can get, let's face it, Morata's doing absolutely nothing. Mitchy Barshuai isn't favoured by Antonio Conte, isn't getting any minutes, and when he does come on, it's too late to make an impact. So what, what is the alternative? I know, I really do Someone's know. better than no one. If it's only a six-month loan, it's nothing a six month loan, it's nothing permanent. I know, I know. And then to put it all into context, you've got a club like Liverpool 
spending £75 million on one of the most sought-after defenders in the world at the time, we are being left behind. That's why, you know, they've gone out, they've spent that sort of money. They've taken the money from Coutinho and they will reinvest. And that's why they are getting such fantastic results like they did the other day against City. It's a worrying time for Chelsea. Andy Carroll seems to be the most likely outcome here. But why we aren't involved in a conversation for Sanchez... Do you know what I think it is? I think the summer... We, to be fair, we didn't have the best transfer window. Everything was extremely last minute, almost on deadline day for some of them. Mm. And then we've, so they've now thought, right, we've invested so much money in there. We're not going to make any panic buys until next summer. But realistically, it's all, it's going to be too late because I think we're going to be, this, this season has the potential to be so good for us. And at the moment, if our board don't sign somebody and we've still got a few weeks left, then it's just all gone. It's a nightmare. Something it's else. It's a nightmare. We'll have to play you up front. I would play up front, people. I really <laughs> no, would for you. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. It's depressing, isn't it? But if you enjoyed this video, please give us a like just so we can monitor it. And if you want to subscribe, please do so. We would love it. Click that button right now. Go on, you blues. Yes. <laughs>